Hey gang, Ben with Classic Firearms here. We're going to continue our theme of showing you some of the surplus that we just got in today. If you go to a different uh, video on our site, you'll be able to see our M1916 Spanish Mausers and also our Enfields that we brought in. But in addition, we also got in some M44s. Now, you all know what M44 Mosin Gant rifles are. This batch is a little different. We're told that all of these will have some type of a cracked stock on them a minor crack stock. We knew that going in. But we want to let you take a look and see the condition for yourself. And we're going to let you see it at the same time we're seeing it. So we're going to open the boxes, pull them out. And let's just see together what we have here, what type of condition they're in. M44s have been so difficult to get that we're proud to get them. Uh, this one's a uh, this one's a toenail splice here that I think they're calling the crack on this one. Jordan, I'll let you get in close. You're also going to see some bluing wear and some modeling on this one. Century Arms did the grading on these. We're selling it under their grading system. They called all of these surplus good, but cracked. So it's surplus good, but with cracked stock. See, I see no cleaning rod in that one and no cleaning rod in this one. This one, the blue in is a little better overall. Quite honestly, I do not see the crack in this stock. Oh, right out here at the end, there's a little chip missing. I'm sure they're considering that a crack. But overall, nice functional solid rifles for surplus. Let's try a couple more. We like to show you guys these things because we want to be very honest with you. We don't want any surprises. You know, surplus, we've said it time and time again. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get when you open it. They seem to be fairly consistent condition-wise. I see the crack that they're telling us about. It's right here on top of the handguard. It's a non-function inhibiting crack. But it is there. Now, if that's a deal breaker, folks, there's nothing we can do about it. This is what we get in the surplus when we get it. We went into it knowing we were buying crack stock guns. We're telling you they're crack stock guns. If that's a deal breaker, don't buy it. We don't want you to be unhappy with what you buy. It is there, it is what it is. We're representing it as such. And like I said, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Uh, those cracks in the stocks don't bother me at all. I'm a surplus nut and enjoy them. And frankly, I know how to fix them. But if it bothers you, then pass it by and get something else. But you can see the general condition. They're calling that a crack. To me, that's actually a little more than a crack. That's a, that's a divot or a chunk missing out of the stock. But it is what it is. We're getting them this way. And that's the same way we're representing and selling them. So I think if we show five of the sampling, we got less than 100 of these. They're going to be gone very quickly either way. But certainly five guns should be a very good representation. They all have the chamber flags. Hey, look, this one's chrome. <laughs> Actually, it just has a lot of bluing wear. But I don't see any rust or anything. And functionally, quite nice. Actually, that one has some good markings on it, Jordan, if you want to get in and take a look at that, just for the curiosity factor. I'm sure there's a crack here somewhere. Oh, I see it. Very small crack right there at the grip. I can't open it up, so I can't tell if that's a crack or a scratch. But anyway, you see the general condition on these. These are our M44s, surplus good with cracked stocks. I don't see any cleaning rods on these. They do have their bayonets. Bayonets appear to function. They'll be up on the site very quickly. So we encourage you to check them out as well as all our fine products at www.classicfirearms.com.